yetu sako energy yetu sako tuko dati tuko dati tuko dati from an illustrious journey. The Sako by then had only one outlet at Rukobo Market and is strictly serving small scale tea, tea farmers in the South Dimension. Whereby they were only operating the, the back office. The back office means Pali, what were to chua pes peke and there was no banking. Ni wale watu wakitoa, wale ibi. Tukasema hapa, 200 people who contribute 200,000, that money was the only money issued to members to go to use it, I then use it uh, intelligently, then pay it back, I then others could get it. So that's uh, only the back office was there. The dream started the city capital of 200,000 by through innovative savings mobilization culture and the opening of the board growth has been as related with the members' deposits up to from 200,000 to 2.7 billion. Today we celebrate a circle with a loan book and the other assets that have grown to Kenya shillings 4.3 billion, making us the fastest 
growing circle in the country qualified at and acquire two categories in the Republic of Kenya. Today, I'm on under, under board as we celebrate 30 years of existence. 30 years is a major milestone for an institution as it is for an individual. Our celebration is not much a festivity, but a so many occasion to pause and look back as this 30 year journey. A moment to look ahead on still the mountains we still need to climb. So today, we pay homage to our founding fathers. In the coming weeks and months, we will reflect on how faithful we have been to their vision and ideas. We salute our founding fathers. Those of you who have listened carefully to the founding members speak here today, we appreciate that those beginning for the circle were not easy. But as a result of their tenacity, so they meant to grow a circle. And now yet to circle was born on September 23, 1991. It was very modest beginning with 200 members, a single staff, and a capital of 200,000 Kenyan shillings. A modest but important beginning. Many members have been critical in this journey. And today we celebrate this occasion with our members, our partners in South Yemen, sub-county, Meru County, and within the country. Yet to circle, we are celebrating you because you have successfully gone through all those stages and now you are at 30. But we also want to let you know that the worst is not over. There are challenges at this stage that are going to be more challenging than what you have already overcome. And one of them is going to be the challenge of growth. And I'm happy because uh, my brother here, Jibuna from Sasra, is here. And you're working with all these institutions. And you'll be able to guide them. Because expansion is going to be a challenge. And I've listened to people talk here. And they have challenged you. Get out of Nkubo. Get out of Meru. Go the whole of Kenya. Bwana Getonga said, go in East Africa. Go to the whole world. That is going to be more challenging. So as you go into that, uh, I am happy because there are people who are going to hold you. There are people who are going to encourage you. There are people who are going to work with you as you achieve success. And because you have been successful these 30 years, I have no doubt that the rest of Germany is also going to be uh, as successful. So there are many circles that are looking upon you now for inspiration and for guidance. So even as you move, remember, there are people who are watching you. And because of this, I would wish that uh, the circle movement in Meru County follows in the footsteps of the other uh, cooperative giants that have come before you. One of them is the dairy and coffee. And in this model, they have an apex institution that they call the union. <laughs> Kwa 
years, they came under SASRA regulatory framework in 2011, which was two decades or 20 years of their existence, and here marking another major milestone. They may not have realized the importance of that, but like I was saying, the Sarkozy Regulatory Authority was established through a Sarkozy Act uh, to mark a major milestone in our cooperatives in Kenya. Kenya is known globally for its vibrancy in cooperative sector, but more importantly, the Sarko Societies Act, uh, in the Sarkos. And therefore, Sarko Societies Act ushered a new era in the development of Sarkos. And that yet worked quite easily. Why am I saying this? It took a lot of time for other Sarkos to join. Even today, there are those who are joining. But yet, Sarko, within the first year, it was licensed and on board. And that is thanks to the founder members, the founder board, Wanabembe, they had a vision, and not only did they have a vision, they put in strategies and plans and hired the people who would drive that vision. Otherwise, my colleague said there that we have about 23,000 cooperatives. But how many are thriving and can celebrate their 10th birthday, we don't know. But as we know, many businesses in Kenya within the first five years, they do what? They close. And therefore, my coming here is to underscore that the great work Yetu Sako has done. And this is important and a strong message to the country 
because we have seen formation of small circles come, but they come with a different mission. The founder members of Yetu live to the true spirit of cooperative, the ethical values, self-responsibility, self-help, equity, honesty, and that is what has taken their selfless service. I'm a shareholder of Yetu Sako. That's around to own shares. So I'm a shareholder. Secondly, I've also borrowed a loan from Yetu Sako, and I'll pay it. <laughs> So I'm a, a full member and a beneficiary of this account. We Merus, when we talk about investments, like uh, Dr. Mweti here will understand what I'm saying, uh, we think on buying the next piece of land. Much of our investments in Kununua Mashamba. I said, yo, but somebody told me you get sick. And then you try to sell the land so that you can pay the hospital bill. That is the time when buyers are not found. That you might die with your piece of land. You know, land rich, but cash poor. So what do we do? We have to change that mentality. We have to invest more in financial services. Because if you invest in the circle, invested in a, in a bank and you get sick you can get that money of yours back even within two days or three days are we together and even if you have shares you can sell those shares faster than you can sell any piece of than any piece of land two i'm, I'm increasing my shares because i looked at what we are being paid for investing in treasury boards. Oh, sorry, com cooperative bank is here. What do you pay us from CIC? And I saw I'm earning more in terms of ratio from what I've invested in here to circle than what I'm investing, earning in all those others. So, Musifikiri in Mucheso to Konayapa. This is serious investment. So I'm going to increase my shares. And also, I'm going to get my shares. I'm going to get my shares. So I'm doing a delivery tree. Because I know for you to borrow more, they look at what you have. All the services you can get from a bank, you can also get them from the circle. So I agree with the boss of Sasra, who saying this is a people's bank. Even Kereto Murungi is saying, here to Sako is the people's bank. These are more people's banks. Um, our CEC is trying his best to bring those who are unbankable into bankable. To be sure, they don't grow tea, but they have potatoes. Isn't it? They are rich people. He is trying to organize them. So we have very many potato societies and they have come together to form a potato union. Please reach out to them. We like to hear this are a year to circle opened to take care of those ones who are coming in. The banana societies have also been formed. I'm going to form a banana union. I, I always tell them to look at the dairy union. I think Kitonga is Kitonga. Yeah, Kitonga Piwe Makofi mix as well proud. Because the dairy union is going through the, the entire cycle. If you are banana a cooperative, you should not just stop at collecting and selling bananas. We also want you to go into variation. Yeah, the, the dairy union is not just selling milk. They are selling yogurt, isn't it? They are doing value and addition. So we want our, even the potato uh, union, we are challenging them. I think we traveled with the Felicity to Canada 
and we saw how many products you can get from potatoes. So we also want to see potato flour, potato powder, and all those things being, coming out of our potato cooperatives. But in Aqua, he quashed him and call Warren to push a video number at that time. Can I live back at the Yurangi? No, I think the Koshora Marigo Nakwaje quashing to New Goka. So we should hand the value. Makurna were Mutu de Quashi from the supermarket. And I get a real monkey in a few minutes. I call it a mash potatoes. The same with the bananas. We did an experiment here with Unido. And we saw just by drying bananas, making them into flour, you can preserve those bananas in the shelf for eight months. We took a look. Are we together? So we need to move through cooperatives, more investment and variation to agricultural products. One, One two, two. Ladies and gentlemen, Kumbuka Tuko live on the Facebook on our wall, Yetu Sako. You can watch live, you can share with friends. Very nice, very nice. I love to share now to it because I hope you are our leaders. Turn that quarter in peace. You are our leaders, you are our host. And my thank you for you can have my team now. Very nice. Come on, come on.